I had a habit of taking opiate-based medications and drinking on top of that. At its worst was probably for seven or eight years, you know. Polydrug user, using anything I could get my hands on, really. I wouldn't define myself as a heroin addict, but I certainly had a massive issue with opiates. And you were overdosing? Yeah, man. Um, my life being saved in hospitals. George Charlton's relationship with opioid drugs 18 years ago was somewhat chaotic. I found myself on a number of occasions waking up in, in hospitals after being taken down in an ambulance, you know, and, and knowing nothing about it other than I got there and they said that you've, you've had an overdose and we've had to bring you around, you know. Um, certainly extremely, like, lucky in many ways. Lucky to be alive. But his overdose episodes are replicated across the country every week. And that's why Durham Police are introducing new training, which will give custody officers the skills to administer the life-saving drug naloxone. The kit comprises of basically the needle. It will have the naloxone in. This is obviously a sample, so there's nothing in here. Two needles. All right, it should be clean. Administered by injection, the drug instantly blocks and reverses the effects of opioids, buying the person who's overdosed enough time to get to hospital alive. 90 degrees, all right. Use it a bit like a dart, push it in. You can see there's lines on there, so down to the first line, out, back in the box. Officers who come into regular contact with drug users say the training is valuable and simple to remember. So I think if I came across somebody who was in a cell who'd uh, taken a, a drug's overdose, after today's training, yes, I would feel very confident in administering the drug. We've had the training, um, so we've got the confidence now to put the kit together and then inject it into the, um, the muscle so that you um, can hopefully save a life. In 2017, there were more than 1,800 opiate-connected deaths in England. 205 of those were in our region, with 69 in Teesside, 63 in Northumberland, Tyne and Weir, 41 in North Yorkshire and 32 in County Durham. Inspector Jason Meacham is the man in charge of custody management for Durham Police. He says in the last two years, the force has seen 20 opiate overdoses in custody suites that could have been fatal had naloxone not been used. And that's why his officers are being trained. So this is essentially a question of life and death, isn't it? Very much so. This is an opportunity for my staff to save somebody's life. There's a couple of minutes where it's critical. The person's overdosed. We can't get the ambulance crew to us quickly enough. Or our own healthcare professionals aren't in the building at the time. We're in the position now with fully trained staff to save somebody's life within a split second. George's relationship with opioids two decades ago is what drives him today in helping vulnerable people who abuse drugs and campaigning for greater access to naloxone. It's going to start them breathing again. It's going to give time for the ambulance to get here. It's going to get somebody in the hospital, get them the care that they need and allow them to live. A simple drug, easy to use. It's hoped naloxone will prevent unnecessary deaths by overdose in the future.